Hello, I'm Isaac from ePianos, and today I have the Yamaha Arius YDP144 on my right and the YDP164 on my left. And I'm going to tell you the differences and the similarities between the two in this video. Check out the latest offers and deals on digital pianos and keyboards and have a look at our huge selection of pre-owned instruments as well. So firstly, these pianos both have 88 keys. They are full size, just like a traditional acoustic piano. And I'm sure you'll be glad to hear they both sound like real pianos as well. Have a listen. The 144. And the one six four. Now, the sound you're hearing on both of these instruments is Yamaha's flagship CFX Concert Grand Piano, which is a huge nine foot grand piano worth over £100,000. And you've got it at your fingertips on both of these pianos, and it really is a beautiful, beautiful sound. I must add that the 144 has two 8 watt speakers, whereas the 164 has two 20 watt speakers. So you do get a little bit more depth, especially in that lower tone. Um, so it is slightly superior in that respect but they do have that same beautiful classic CFX Concert Grand sound. Now, a really important part of anyone's playing experience, whether you're a beginner or you've been a professional for years, is of course the touch, how the keys actually feel when you play. Now, both of these pianos have weighted keys. This 144 has the GHS mechanism. That stands for Graded Hammer Standard. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, on a real piano, the lower end is heavier, and as you go up the keyboard, it does get lighter as you get to the top. Now, that is what this does on the 144. However, on the 164, it uses something called GH3 mechanism. Now, that 3 is really, really important. It stands for the third sensor, which they have put into the 164. It essentially means, in simple terms, this piano picks up the nuances, the light and shade, the hard and soft of your playing a lot better than this 144 is. This only has two sensors, so it can't pick up that uh, authenticity that you will get when you're playing on this. Very similar, but I do think that makes all the difference. Now, an awesome feature on both of these pianos is the integration they have with Yamaha's Smart Pianist app. It's an awesome app, opens some really cool features up for you, and I've made a whole video on it which you can check out by clicking here. Now something I must mention which is important is the actual design, what it actually looks like. It is quite important where it's going in the house, if it's in a kitchen, living room. Now you'll see that on the 144, the Yamaha logo is on the music rest, lid folds out like this which is really nice. However, on the 164, the logo's here. You've got a slightly more elegant, upright, raised front. Um, you still have the lid that folds out like that. It also has these two sheet music clips here, which essentially stop your sheet music from slipping off the music rest, which does get quite annoying when it does, so it's nice that they've added it in. In terms of colours, they both come in black, white and rosewood. However, the 164 comes in a really nice white ash finish as well, so depends where it's going in the house, I suppose. You can wear headphones on both of these instruments, which means don't worry if you want to play and practice at night. You can put some headphones on and you won't disturb the neighbours. To conclude, I do think the YDP-164 is better. It is superior. The synthetic ivory and ebony keys make a big difference. It just makes it feel a lot more like a real piano to play. And that extra sensor is really important, especially if you're thinking longevity. In the long run, that extra sensor will make all the difference to the learning process. Also, the YDP-164 has bigger speakers. Those two 20 watt speakers just give it a bit more push with the sound, especially in that lower end, which does make a big difference with that beautiful CFX grand sound. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please get in touch. Either email us, leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.